Hello everyone, this is Steven from this Even Steven channel, and today we're taking a look at the get out Mosberg model 320B OF Mosberg and Son Inc. New Haven, Connecticut model 32 320B 22 caliber short, long, or long rifle. Now, it might surprise some people to know that Mosberg. Uh, made rifles. Yeah, they made semi-automatic semi rifles. They made um, single shot. Uh, even today, they make they made the Mossberg Plinkster. So while they are definitely famous for their shotguns, they made a number of guns over the years. And this is one of them. And I gotta say, this is one of the most confusing guns I've ever shot. So let's go through the features front to back. Yeah, really nice looking wood. Um, I like the wood. I don't know if it's been finished, but this looks really nice. It uh, looks like someone drilled this one point for a sling. Sling is gone now. Probably should let the sling on at that point. You've got a plastic butt stock here. This is Mossberg. Very nice looking wood stock. Trigger, trigger guard, safety. This is a single shot 22 caliber. It's basically a training rifle. There's the bolt, rear sight, front sight. The barrel's pretty long. I wouldn't be surprised if this was 22 inches, though I have not measured it. And there isn't a whole lot of information on this. Oh yeah, by the way, someone drilled a matching off-centered sling loop here. Um, neither one of these is quite centered. This is a just a lug, a, a nut that holds the action to the stock. If you take that, if you unscrew that, this thing comes off. Um, and just a very, very interesting. 20, uh, single shot 22 um, gun that I've, I have I came across. I got it at an auction. I paid about $100. And uh, it took me a while to figure out how this works. Because this isn't a whole lot of information online. So let me show you how I was using this. So I took it to the range and opened it up. You throw a single cartridge in there. Close it. Push down. And you fire. Oh, so there's a safety here. So safety on means it's not going to fire. Safety off means it's not going to fire. This little thing is here. Why is that there? So push forward. Gun fires. So now, I, what I was doing is I would open the bolt up and it wouldn't come out. Like it wouldn't come out. I was like, um, alright. So I would just flick them out. So this is chambered for 22 short, long, or long rifle. Hey Steven, is there any reason to shoot 22 short or 22 long? Nope. However, my friend gave me one of these. He had a couple boxes. Hey, take this. I'm like, sure. Look at these itty bitty little 22 shorts. You probably could shoot this without hearing protection. I, I can't say I can recommend that, but you probably could. It's so quiet. You know, we still got 29 grains going at that thousand feet per second. And that little itty bitty little cartridge. So I'd be shooting it, and um, and the cartridges wouldn't come out. Like they just they wouldn't they would just stick in there. So I just flick them out, put it in, flick it out. Whatever. Got some nice iron sights here, rear iron sight. The front sight is another mystery. So let's see what if I could show this properly on oh, camera. I think I can. So they're actually. I'm gonna try to orient this the best way to show it. There are actually two apertures here, or two front sights. We have the regular front sight, you know, regular post. Then we also have a like balloon sight, which I actually really like the idea of. It's basically like a I guess competition site, you put this outline around your the circle of your target. That's kind of cool actually, I kind of like that. This keeps falling forward, it keeps wanting to go to the regular site. But I think the balloon site's cool. That's interesting. And again, this seemed like a, like a 1950s rifle, maybe 1960s, and it might have been made for a very specific type of competition. So if someone could help me tell me what that was, it might make more sense. But I still thought it was odd that, you know, like, it wouldn't eject. It wouldn't eject. 
Um, but whatever, I was having fun, whatever she wants well. But then taking it apart, I figured out the mystery of the Mossberg 320, and that is this screw right here. And I kid you not, this is an intentional feature of the gun. When this screw is in place, it stops the bolt from coming back far enough to hit the ejector and kick out the cases. Now why it would do that, I don't know. Other than it might be like the rules of the competition this rifle was made for. A very specific type of... Competition where I guess you had to hand take out each cartridge or you, you weren't allowed to like throw cartridges around the litter. I, I just don't know. I don't know. And this is, I swear to God, this appears to be how this was designed. It was designed to do this. Now that I've removed this screw, you can see the bolt will go back further and re reveal the ejector, which is hard to see down in there. You know, basically these two things here, are ba they're basically both extract extractors. They hold the cartridge in place. And when it comes back far enough, I can't do it slow enough to do it. It's going to hit that ejector, it's going to kick him out. I have this 22 long rifle dummy cartridge. Oh, what happened? Well, now that the bolt can come back far enough to hit the ejector, this part of the handle pushes this, which automatically engages the manual safety. Now, it may be possible to remove this, but that's how it's supposed to work. And you go forward, turn the safety off, and then as I pull up on this, it's going to do two things. It's going to throw out the cartridge, and it's going to hit this back, which is going to re-engage the manual safety. So the cartridge fell out, this bolt handle hit here and re-engage the manual safety. And it's just a very interesting set of features that I, I have to assume was made for a very specific type of competition. And it's cool to look back and, and see how it works. Now I have a little bit of targets here. This is me shooting 22 short at 25 yards. Just kind of, I guess, bench, I guess leaning on table and trying to give myself some support. So I got one, two, three, four, five. Eh, decent shot. One, two, three. I don't even think I have six. One, two, three, four, uh, five. And this is using the balloon sight, what I call the to as a balloon sight. And then this is using the standard front sight. And I guess like, I'm actually a little bit more accurate, but my shots are just going kind of low left. And it, it's kind of consistent there. Interesting, interesting. So, um, yeah, yeah, it's an interesting rifle. Now, I don't know what I can recommend this for. I mean, it's a training rifle. It's a 22 training rifle. You can still use it. It just has a very unusual set of features. Um, it's a very safe gun because you can only load one cartridge at a time. It's a very safe gun because whenever you run the bolt, uh, you're going to regain some manual safety. Or, you're going to have, if you leave this screw installed, you're going to have a, a rifle that can only fire once and then the cartridge is going to be stuck in there until you take it out yourself. Um, it's a very safe gun. It seems to be a very uh, intentionally slow firing gun. And, uh, you know, just kind of an interesting relic. I, I, I can only assume it was made for a very specific kind of competition. And now that that competition, I believe, is no longer around, there's really not much more to do with it other than just look at it and see it's cool. Can I recommend this? I guess. You get a good price on it. And you know how it works. You can remove the screw, then yeah, it's perfectly fine. If this, this is For me personally, this is kind of begging for a scope. I had a really cheap Tasco scope on it. That's not good enough. I need something better on here. And that might be interesting to shoot, yeah. Put a nice adjustable 1 to 4 or 3 or 4 fixed power scope on here. Um, that'd be fun. That'd be fun. But yeah, just kind of showing it off, showing the details. If I didn't show this before, the plastic in this handguard is kind of warping. Some of the old Mossberg rifles have these three finger groove things in there. There's a trigger. So it, while this is not great, this is no way unsafe. So it works. And yeah, it's showing off a nice little interesting 22 that came to collection. It might come out eventually, eventually. But for now, it's in here, and it's interesting just things to shoot. And I really want to put a scope on here, a good scope on here. And have some fun with that. Anyway, this is Steven from the Even Steven channel. Please don't like, share, and subscribe. If you have any questions, leave them in the comments, and 
I will see you next time. Thank you and goodbye.